Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the long delay in between stuff. If you are just freshly coming across this video series, well then there's no delay at all. You're watching this in real time. But for the rest of you who have been waiting patiently, I apologize. It's been a while. I've been working with other projects and libraries and stuff, but I didn't forget about y'all. I want to come back with a new set of videos to continue our project that we were working on before. So anyways, last time we left off, we had a couple different things going on here. We were working on our API, and our API has a couple entities in it, and those entities are, of course, the room and the stuff in the room, uh, the furnitures. And what we've been doing is, in our API, we've been just so far uh, returning all of the furniture, or sorry, all of the rooms that are in our database. So if we go to our Swagger and we execute the very the only get operation we have so far, it'll give us all the rooms that we have for the rooms. So pretty standard stuff, pretty easy. Um, and so now what I want to do is I want to take kind of a quick sidestep to something else. Right now, as it is, what we're returning to the front end is an actual entity, the room. And I don't want to do that anymore simply because when you have entities, a lot of times the entities will contain maybe sensitive information or information that you don't necessarily want to be passing around because it's big or heavy on um, processors like images or things like that. Like even if it's just an image link or something, maybe it's not something that you necessarily want to be passing to the front end. So what we're going to do is, uh, I mean, even though ours is very simple, uh, I'm, we're going to add something called the DTO, which stands for data transfer object. So in my solution explorer, collapse this and in the pro, or sorry in the solution I'm going to say to add a new folder and in that folder actually hold on a second I don't want to add a new folder remove that forget it ignore that new folder actually what I want to add is something else I want to add in the solution so again right click on the solution I want to add and I'm going to say new project and in this new projects things i'm going to look for what's called a class library if you don't see it you can just type in at the search class library make sure that you have c sharp selected as your language and then it should be the top one right up there and just say next and then i'm going to call this class library models and i'm going to make sure that it is in this spot here where the web project is uh, this is our new web project, so that should be good. And I'm going to say yes. Uh, I think we're currently actually working on .NET 7, so I'm going to make sure that my .NET version is the same as all the rest of the project. And then I'm going to hit create, and of course, it doesn't want to do that. And why not? I'm not really sure. And let me actually go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to my Git repos. And I'm just going to bring this over here so you can see what I got going on. I've got tons of stuff here. Project one, new web project. Oh, there we go. We have a models thing right there. And I'm, I don't know why it's already full of something. So I'm actually going to go ahead and remove it because I don't think I need it for anything. And I'm going to double check and make sure that this still runs because it should. I don't think that models was anything. Yep, everything looks like it's peachy and I'm still returning my yep all my rooms cool all right that's exactly what i wanted so anyways going back to here solution explorer in the solution i'm going to say add i'm going to say a new project and again i'm going to go to class library select next and i'm going to call this models now you don't have to call models i just that's how i learned it and that's what i want to call it so but you can call it whatever you want i would recommend calling it something that is related to your entities though uh, models is good entities is good you can call it dtos as well that's a good one too um, all of those are good uh, so anyways in our class library i'm going to go back to here i'm actually going to close this class that was created and i'm going to delete it i don't need it i don't want it i don't need it and inside of this models i'm going to add a new folder and i'm going to call this folder dtos with a little s right there okay and then inside that DTOs folder is where I'm going to put all of my DTOs for the various things that I'm returning. So I want to see what exactly I am returning, uh, and then I'm going to make the modifications as necessary. Uh, so again, like I said before, in this case, we'll just make a room DTO for right now. Like I said before, though, our models are pretty simple, pretty standard. Uh, so I want to make sure that you know I'm returning, obviously, 
the you know just the important stuff um, it doesn't necessarily have to contain everything that you see uh, in the actual uh, model or entity that you've got going on here um, but it is you know advisable to make sure it contains like the most important stuff I guess basically like I said anything that you want to return to the front end that's what you're going to put in your DTO so I'm going to say in that Sorry, I'm going to, in that DTOs folder, right click and say add, and this is going to be a new class, and I'm just going to call this room DTO.cs. There we go. And I'm going to drag this over here to the right hand side, <clears throat> if it will let me. There we go. So that I can see them side by side. All right, so this is my room DTO, this is my room. And in here, uh, first, what I want to do is I want to change this to public so that I have access to it outside of this class. And I'll show you how you get that a little bit later on also. Um, so with the room DTO, what I want to actually return is I don't want to return the ID because I don't care about the ID. But I am concerned with the room name. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to return the description, but just those two things. That's all I care about right now. I'm not really concerned about the other things in here. Um, I can add those later on if I want to, but as it is, I'm going to leave this just like that. Okay. So anyways, I've got a room DTO with these items in here and perfect. So now what I want to do is come back over to my solution explorer and I'm going to tell my API, Hey, I'm going to add in a service or sorry project reference and so you'll notice here i've got my two projects here the front end that we made a long time ago and now the models and this is why we add it as a class so that we can actually create a reference to it as opposed to just a folder like i accidentally did before so make sure this is checked for models and hit ok and now we'll have access to our room dto's within our api so i'm going to close this and i'm going to come back to the rooms repository and the rooms repository is actually going to continue to return a room back to my controller but my controller is where i'm going to be making the changes see the controller is of course going to be uh kind of in charge of like talking to the front end and so what i want to do is from the controller return a dto instead of a room entity now if i remember correctly let's see here actually let me just change this room dto and that should change. Oh, perfect. No problem. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refactor this get statement to return to DTO instead of an actual room. All right. And that's pretty simple for the most part. Uh, it's going to look something like this. I'm going to say uh, var rooms equals await repository get all rooms. And if the original leg like, rooms is null, then we're going to return not found as before. Otherwise, okay. This time, what we're going to do is, because we've got rooms in a whatever, we're going to say var room DTO. We're going to say var room DTO uh, equals new uh, room DTO. There we go. And let's see here. What I'd really like to do is I'd like to return a list of these things. So it should be actually a list, if I'm not mistaken. We want to say uh, room DTO, we'll say new list. Yep, room DTO. And there we go. That's not going to work either, is it? I've completely forgotten. Var room DTO equals new list. And I'm actually going to change this to raw room DTOs. Okay. Uh, and so now, if I'm not mistaken, rooms right here is an IE numerable. So I'm going to say, just like it says right there, var each far, var room in rooms. And then we're going to say, <clears throat> uh, let's see, we're going to say new room DTO. And we're going to put it here. And we're going to say, let's see. Uh, name equal, oh my goodness what is it doing here name equals or say room dot name 
and description equals room room dot description. Okay. And then we'll close that off with a semicolon. And then we're gonna say actually um we're gonna say new room DTO. Uh oh, I wanna say room DTO new room equals there we go new room dto and then we're going to say room details dot add new room okay so essentially what i'm doing now is i am getting a list of rooms in an ienumerable from my repository then just like before i'm checking to see if it's not null and if it isn't then i'm going to now make a new ienumerable or a list in this case of room dtos and then I'm going to run through a for each loop in my rooms, sorry, in my rooms that I received here from the database. And for every room that's in the room, I'm going to create a now a room DTO. And in that room DTO, basically what I'm saying is like each one of the rooms in that list or that I enumerable, I'm going to take its name and its description and put it in that new room DTO. And then I'm going to add that to my room DTOs list that I've made up here. Okay. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm basically taking the list and I'm transferring the list into a new list, but this new list is of type room DTOs instead of rooms. And now I'm just going to return room DTOs. There we go. Oh wait, oops, sorry. That was a mistake. What I meant is this down here, return. Okay. Room DTOs. There we go. And that will match my return statement there. And now with that, uh, this should work just fine. And what we'll see in the difference in our get statement is instead of all that extraneous information that we were normally getting from our get statement, we should only see a name and description from our, what to call it? There it is. Boom. Just like that. So now what I have is a list of room DTOs. And as you can see, I've got the living room and its description. And then of course the dining room is description and the kitchen is description. No more IDs or anything else like that. Uh, so this is a good way to hide sensitive content from in your entities from the front end. And of course it makes the uh, transferring of objects a little bit lighter, especially if you have like really heavy objects in your program that have lots and lots of different uh, fields and properties and stuff. It makes it a lot easier to, to go through. And really what's kind of cool about this is that with the DTOs is that you can have multiple different types of DTOs for each single entity. So instead of making a whole bunch of different entities or changing the entities that you're returning, you can just make a new DTO. So let's, let's say I want to return just room IDs and the names with no description. I can just make a new DTO and I'll call it room DTO with no description or something like that. And then I can return that instead in a different part of the controller. So there's my DTOs and we're going to incorporate these into our front end in the next set of videos. So hopefully that was helpful to you. And I will see you soon in our next video where we start to actually look at our front end portion of the program. All right. See you then.